Hi everyone, welcome back to another edition of the Velvet Lounge Life. And this is simply a quick video to say thank you, thank you, and more thank yous. Um, to those that were kind enough to generously send me um, buttons and some other things in the mail, I really appreciate it. Um, one thing that I was sent, I will get it and show you, it's huge, is this. <laughs> I received this giant container of mixed fancy deluxe nuts. Yes, it weighs two pounds, two ounces. And I really appreciate that because I love eating nuts. It's one of the things that I like. Um, cashews, pecans, pistachios, hazelnuts, Brazilian nuts. Um, did I miss any? Oh, of course. Ca yeah, I said cashews. Uh, pistachios. I don't think. Oh, yeah, I did say those as well. So, yeah. It's pretty much, you know, that's me. So thank you so, so much for that. And it's not even Christmas. It's so, you don't know how much I needed this. I needed the extra smile at this moment um, due to a variety of things that are going on, of course, with COVID-19, as well as just general things that happen to people in the cycle of life and death, etc., so I really appreciate it. Um, I'm not going to go through like everything in detail or anything like that, but um, I just wanted to point out a couple things, something I absolutely adore, love, never seen this before, never seen a button in this um, shape. I'm trying to do this, as you know me, with one hand. I should get the tripod out, but it's located in a completely different area and <laughs> it would take me a while to go get it and this is supposed to be a fast video so I think I got it I got it so look at this rectangular button I'll put it against that and it has this really cool design where it's been carved out two holes and it's really well made even the back Usually the backs can be super duper rough. Of course, this button is really old, and no, I have not cleaned it. Um, I also like the way it's decorated on the edge. You can see the edge work on it. Really nice. And these, I believe, are made of bone. I did not test them or anything like that. I don't even know how to do that. But um, I'm pretty, like, 90% sure these are made of bone. These will go on one of my charm strings. The rectangular one here is definitely going on a charm string as well. If I had two of these, then I would have made, like, a pair of earrings out of them. Um, there's some other, you know, really, look at the scalloping and the edging on this one. These, I'm trying to create a charm string, um... Christmas garland out of charm string buttons or the buttons that have like that little I know we call these charm strings because of the shanks on them so any buttons with this shank I'm trying to put on one large charm string which is really not that large right now um, and hopefully by Christmas it's large enough to go on the tree that would be awesome these are made of a pearl or shell and have this cool, almost like a mid-century modern design, which I adore. This, These are so cool. This pearl button with a tiny um, charm string shank is going to go on that project I just mentioned. There were lots and lots and lots of pearl buttons, you know, different pretty designs, which I really appreciate and love. These are like an oval. Um, some bullet, I, we call these bullet buttons because of the shape. This one is, of course, like a charm string. So I will be using that one on a charm string. This one is glass, but we call it a bullet shape or sometimes a spaceship shape because of just the way it looks. 
And here's another one that's swirled up. Same, t you know, that weird design. Applied shank on that. You can see right there. And look at this beautiful button. Absolutely just like a little jewel. Love it. And some moon glows. These are moon glow buttons, but they're not just like, ooh, here it's a circle. It, you know, look at the way they're cut. These are really, really cool. And once again, you can see the shank at the bottom. And the last thing I'll show you are these absolutely gorgeous square buttons, which are made of pearl as well, or shell, I should say. Sorry, they're made of shell. I always interchange that, which is not accurate. Look, absolutely gorgeous with a little football. These remind me of like something from maybe the flapper era, like 1920s, 19, maybe 1930s. Oh, and look at the little triangular ones. And there's just so many. And no, I will not be showing you all of them, but they have some more that are in tins. And I just, like I said, want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate any time you guys send me anything. It's one of the things that motivates me to continue making videos because sometimes I'm like, wow, this is, does anyone care? You know, is it just me? But then if one person leaves a comment or one person sends me a card, um, then I know I'm like, yes, this is awesome. You know, I can see, pe like, we get to see how many people watch our video. Like there's a counter that tells you like 12 people watched or eight people. And when I see those numbers go up, then it motivates me to instantly want to binge create videos. I have more videos coming in regards to buttons, um, because I still haven't finished the Waterberry Button Series, that's how many Waterberry Buttons I have. <laughs> I have a lot. And I think I have enough for either two or three more videos, and then that will be the end of that series. I won't have anything you haven't seen before. Um, I also have um, videos that will be coming up in regards to reselling, eBay, what antiques, unique, collectible, and oddity items do people want, buy, sell, and how much they buy and sell them for? Um, I have an entire playlist in regards to that subject, but once again, I will be adding new videos. I have gardening videos that are coming out very soon. Um, several people, there were like three people that asked me if I will if I've ever been to the Waterberry Button Company factory before. And that is one of the things we had planned for this, like before, like the spring. And we planned to go to the factory. We were invited to go there as well as go to the museum at least a couple of times, probably like two, three times because they have so much content. But due to the virus, obviously we could not do that, which is fine because it will still be there and we will be there when we're allowed to go and when we think it's safe enough. Um, also, what other, oh, some cooking videos, like there's just a lot of different things that are coming up. So please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell so when you hit the bell, what happens is you'll receive a notification in your YouTube channel just letting you know that there's a new video. It will not make you watch it unless you want to, but hopefully you do. Um, also, if you subscribe, if, when we hit our 1,000th subscriber, um, and we have to wait a few days after that just to make sure no one like falls off, we will be doing drawings to give away lots of buttons, lots of different um, prizes, not prizes, gifts. We have to call them gifts we learned from our tax person, um, as well as um, other opportunities. There will be shout outs, obviously, as well. And we really want you to be part of that party. And when we hit 2,225 subscribers, that is when the real party starts. 
and we will be giving away many more items, even better than the first set of items that we're going to give away, which are fantastic items. Um, people are like, why are you giving these things away? First of all, because we can. And secondly, because we want, we really do appreciate you guys like watching our, our stuff and caring about a, our content, caring about us. Um, when my husband was sick with the virus, so many people like reached out to us and that was absolutely beautiful, stunning, and so appreciated. So please take care of yourselves. Remember that your health is your wealth. Without your health, you have absolutely nothing. Fight to live. You only have one life, but enjoy every day and be well.